Hello right, guys to YP101. Today we're going to talk about corporate communication and the corporate advertising. Okay. The difference between corporate advertising and also our regular TV, newspaper, social media advertising is that it focuses more towards the image and reputation of the company itself. Okay. And before that, thank you for watching. Uh, for those who are in the media practitioner students of mass communication whether in IPTA or IPTS welcome and also those who are interested in mass communication welcome today we'll talk about corporate communication and the PR okay now let's go right now the difference here yeah, between corporate advertising and also our regular advertising I call it regular like regular because we all seen it since we are small until we are big now, yeah? Now, corporate advertising is the advertising done for an entire institution, company, organization, and not for individual brand or product. Not for individual brand or product. It's the overall of the company itself, okay? For example, Nike. We do not talk about Nike Air, Air Jordan, Air Max, uh, Kobe Bryant, signature design. No, we're talking about Nike as the company where you got the CEO talking, you got the, the staff talking as well, you got the, the people who are doing all the works at the factory and everything. That's under corporate advertising. Okay, and what are their social responsibility uh, all about? The video itself. Okay. If you're not clear, then you talk about Petronas. I love to talk about Petronas. Petronas is Malaysia's number one company, okay? Listed in the Forbes 500, around number 66, 50, like that lah, yeah? Okay? Petronas. We're not talking about Petronas in terms of motorsports, in terms of uh, oil and gas, in terms of uh, Formula One. No. We talk about Petronas in terms of KL. CC, the Twin Tower. We're talking about Petronas in terms of the, the CEO, what they are doing to the society, what are their contribution to the society, education, CSR. These are all under corporate communication. And the main theme is about the CEO. Ah, the CEO that runs the company. Okay? This kind of activity is an extension of the public relation activity done by the company to improve its image and reputation in the minds of the general public, to increase the goodwill and also to make known that the company itself is not about just making money, it's also taking care of the people around them, shareholders, stakeholders, the public, even the country itself. Okay, so when we talk about Petronas, it brings Malaysia along, okay? It brings Malaysia along, okay? To the back, to the whole world. Uh. Now, instead of advertising for its individual brand and also product, the corporate advertising is to build its own image. Uh, its own image means that it's not gonna be uh, linked with any product or brand. It has its own image in the minds of the people. Okay? University Petronas is a part of Petronas, correct? And it has its own advertisement, corporate advertisement, that focus on education. I know what I mean, yeah? We know many companies across the globe which have numerous brands under them. Of course, just now we're talking about what? Okay, in our, in, our, in our previous class, we talked about what? In previous class, we talked about uh, monolithic, indoors, and also branded. Uh, remember that one? Uh? Type of, uh, type of uh, brand identity, remember? Okay. Example, HUL, PNG, Volkswagen, General Motors, and so on. All of these companies also take part in the corporate branding. Where, where else, instead of branding okay, only, one particular product or brand, 
they brand everything together okay so they brand it under the corporate itself okay so there is no monolithic no branded no endorsed it's of the overall aspect of the company if it's png every brand comes to play okay and to be uh, seen to the public okay example okay now these companies invest in improving the overall perception of the companies itself okay corporate corporate advertising is all about perception image reputation that they want to project to the uh, public okay, out there yeah now the primary focus for these companies when they're doing corporate communication and also doing the corporate advertising are the customer which is uh, the number one okay, number one priority and to prove through corporate advertising yeah the main objective of corporate advertising is to improve the image of the company okay and make it more desirable make it more uh, relatable uh, desirable and relatable to the public at large where else nowadays we see a lot of netizen focusing on a uh, social media platform so the company although it's 100 years for example for example uh, BMW 100 years they have to play along with the concept of mingling and blending and also have this desirability with the new generation of today okay the netizen okay the generation z millennials all of this they have to blend in okay they can't expect to do the old same old thing to walk the same old line they have to change if it's social media is the game then they have to go for the same game okay example right now corporate advertising is also effective for companies that are involved in business that have a lot of negative potential okay negative potential means possibly uh, possibly stress through human life okay these companies may be involved in controversial product or brand, hence need to regular, regularly invest in corporate advertising to keep the image stable in the market, stable in the eyes of the public, and also stable in the eyes of the government. Come on, tell me, in which state in Malaysia do you find a beer company? No, 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 sorry, a beer factory. In Kuching, you can say so. In Kuching, in Cebu, you can say so. In Cebu, producing local brew, but I mean the national brewer, okay? Henneken, Carlsberg, all of this. Where is the cigarette company or cigarette factory in Malaysia? You tell me where. So these uh, these things have been monitored. Monitored. Also, they have to. They have to show a good image in the eyes of the public, even though they are doing bad things towards health. Come on, alcohol, liquor, cigarettes, Marlboro Man. All of these are all health related, and they have to put a good image to the society. How? They become sponsor. They sponsor big events. They sponsor clubs, football clubs. They sponsor Formula One. They sponsor sports. Okay, that's why it's called sports cleansing. Please Google. Sport cleansing means that is there if there is a bad thing coming in, then they have to divert the interest of people through activities that they will forget. Sports. Example. Okay, so these things come to play when you know that the investment of negative the nature of negativity in the company is that Petronas I'm sorry Petronas you guys also know they drill oil they open land okay pollute the environment even we're not we're not seeing it but if you look into Greenpeace what they're doing out there is what you see in real okay but for us Petronas brings in economy open up uh, open up businesses open up opportunities for locals to work okay education wise scholarship universities and so on and so forth okay this is why corporate advertising is important okay 
cigarette companies, oil drilling and exploration companies, pharmaceutical uh, companies, and mining, mining companies, mining, okay, are examples of organizations that have a need for corporate marketing. Corporate advertising also helps in increased sales and easy recruiting good staff. Recruiting and retaining employees. You want to retrain, you want to get the best worker out there. How? You do a very good corporate advertising. Okay, how you want to attract people to work with Google? Well, you don't. Kids are very happy working with Google. Kids are happy working with YouTube. Kids are happy working with TikTok because it relates to them. It relates to them. Okay? Influencer sign up to become TikTok ambassador. They got paid. Okay, as long as they influence others to join TikTok. Example lah, to join YouTube. They got paid. Okay, influencer. Ah, example lah. So corporate advertising is good to recruit, to retain the staff. Okay, who doesn't? Who wants to quit companies like Petronas? No. If they want, they want to stay forever and ever and ever because this company, although it's uh, private, the stability is there. Stability is there, and it's hard for you to find people to quit, to resign. Stable, stable, no, be stable. Okay, example. <clears throat> Next. Okay. So how do we go through this? Let's see here. Example: Create a positive brand image of the firm, the company. Explain a viewpoint to the public and take stand during controversial times, corporate crisis, crisis, uh, crisis management, okay? Engage and enhance employee morale means when you, when you do corporate advertising, you include the employees, make them feel uh, a part of the company, yeah? Maintain good relationship with uh, the labor union, uh, okay, labor union, okay? Good rapport with the labor union, good rapport with Prakeso, good rapport with WSP, yeah? Establish company's identity and macro level positioning of the brand and let us look at a few famous examples here examples you can also google please google this one PNG PNG has this uh, corporate advertising under thank you mom by PNG it's a very heartwarming uh, corporate advertising okay it encompasses every brand that's under PNG whether it's monolithic branded or endorsed every brand is included under PNG so this advertising this corporate advertising encompasses every brand okay and it's done by the mother company okay on Mother's Day this campaign uh, PNG on Mother's Day 2016 okay PNG released a fascinating eye-watering ad on tribute to mothers okay the ad shows how an Olympian okay Olympian okay Going through all the, the hardship and everything, okay, right? The practice, the pressure, and everything. In the end, achieve her dreams, won a goal, and say thanks to the mother, okay. And it just flew through all the social media platform, become viral video and everything. Yeah, that's how it goes. Yeah, do more viral video. Do viral videos for your company. So that you will get more attraction with the viewers nowadays. Viral videos. Number two, Senate Chartered Mumbai Marathon 2017. Please Google. Why is it so so interesting? Okay? Because okay, it's known as cost related marketing. Cost related, causality lah, cost related, yeah. And let's take an example of Senate Chartered Mumbai Marathon. The marathon has completely sponsored and associated by Senate Chartered. Yeah? This helps spread awareness about fitness and the success of it brings good things for Senate Chartered. Yeah? Cost related marketing, which is another form of corporate advertising, also helps in promoting other social issues that might be ailing in the society. That's why it's cost related. Cost related, for example, it helps to improve the brand image in organization means if it's uh, health deteriorating in certain parts of the world Senate Chartered comes in 
bring in all the help they have to help his health, uh, this um, his community, whatever it is, yeah, to get up and be healthy in life. Okay, you don't have to wait for Nestle, Camilo, you no. Know. Even companies like Sir Chatter can do it. Even a bank can do it, doing a true marathon. Yeah, okay, true marathon. Right? That's about it. So, as a conclusion, corporate advertising is well focused on the image reputation of the company. Okay, it's not just promoting a single product or brand. It is the mothers, the mother company trying to. Help every brand there is under its wings, yeah. And then the focus is to change the view of society, especially for companies that are very negative in nature, but they try to give a positive outlook to the people out there. Petronas, for example, cigarette company, Carlsberg, Heineken, Singtao, whatever it is, that really affected humans in the long run, but. For now, they do what they can to improve the lives of others, giving job job opportunities, uh, empowering the economy, and also give back to the society. Okay, hope to see you guys tomorrow. Stay tuned again around 2 p.m. Uh, premiering, and hope it will help you guys as a student of mass communication and also media practitioner. If anything, you can also put in the comments below. And see you guys on the next video. Thank you very much.